Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Not channel. Today I am back with sort of a reaction video to an article that I found on MLSsoccer.com. Uh, I just found this out yesterday and I want to react to this article because it has something to do with the Quakes and it is once again going to be about David Bingham and how he felt that he is being disrespected by the San Jose Earthquakes after he left the LA Galaxy. And by the way, if you haven't read this article, I will leave a link in the description below uh, where the, the article is. But basically, just to kind of like simplify what the article was about, um, Bingham openly saying on to the media that he felt very frustrated with the fact that the club kind of disrespecting him in kind of in a couple of ways. One of them was the contract situation and how the club kind of intentionally run his contract at, down and didn't really kind of like renew his contract. But in all fairness, we already we kind of knew what kind of happened with that contract situation with Bingham, and more on that later on in this video. But the second thing that he felt disrespected from the club is that he was relegated to a backup goalkeeper in the midst middle of the season, even though he thought he was having a very good run and how the club was like in a very kind of good form. And this, of course, was part of right near the middle of the season, right leading up to the Cali Clasco, we made an absolute big change in our um, in our kind of staff with firing Dominic Kintner and getting Chris Leach in. And after Chris Leach was taking over, um, Tarbell basically is pretty much our starting goalkeeper. Um, and, you know, Bingham got relegated to the backup goalkeeper situation and he wasn't happy about that throughout the whole season. But... After reading this article, you know, you would think that you kind of felt a little bit kind of sympathy toward Bingham with the way that the club disrespected him. But one of the things that I found very discouraging and kind of very disappointed about this article is that the way David Bingham decided to do it, the way that he decided to say it. Because I feel like the way that he kind of described it felt very kind of disrespectful in a way and looked very unprofessional with the way he is. And he even made like a a kind of claim that that um, six other players on our team actually have sort of the same feelings toward the club and that they want to get out of the club as soon as possible. But... The thing about that claim and that kind of evidence to back up what you're trying to say the club is disrespect to you is that who are those six players? I mean, who exactly are those six players that you're talking about? And the other thing is, even though we, we probably know who those six players are, did they actually openly go onto the media and say that, you know, I'm not happy with, with what's going on with the club. Um, I feel like the club is disrespecting me because they're not playing me game after game and stuff like that. No, those six players just keep their mouth shut and continue to uh, work as hard as they can to try to earn a spot in the squad. And this is where it leads to kind of why I think this was kind of a disrespecting thing and an unprofessional thing that Bingham did is that he didn't even attempt to try to fight for his spot. And I know he was kind of angry the fact that Tarbell, of course, took his spot, but you know that if you're a footballer, okay, um, you you probably know know that throughout your career, you always going to have at least one guy that is going to fight for your position. And the job for you to do is just try to work as hard as you can. You can let uh, the other guy that is fighting the same starting spot as you are to just kind of act as a distraction and thinking that they're going to steal your spot. And eventually when they do steal your spot, you cannot be kind of just... You can't be bitter. You can't be salty that he took your spot and thinks that everything is over with the club. I don't like this club anymore because they're disrespecting him. They, they, they of course, in favor of this guy and, and instead of me. No. Instead, you should instead keep your head down. Keep fighting for your spot. And, you know, if he would have just done that, I think I will kind of 
show some sympathy toward him in terms of the way that he said the club is disrespecting him in terms of just not really kind of like putting him in the starting lineup despite how hard he he of course do train doing the training session and obviously are better than um the the guy that beat him to that starting position but he didn't do that and because of that it just kind of felt like he was just bitter and he was just being very kind of salty with the way it is and you know i think it was the right thing to do to get rid of him. I, I mean, I still hear some people are not happy with the fact that we get, got rid of David Bingham and the thing, fact that, you know, why in the world do we decide to sell him to the biggest rival? I mean, he was such a goalkeeper, good goalkeeper for us. Well, yes, he was a good goalkeeper, but that was a couple of years ago. I mean, did you see how he performed last season and how many times he have give away goals that was just so preventable? He was literally causing us the points. I mean, I think if we had a better goalkeeper, and this is not a deluded statement, but if we had a better goalkeeper. I would have think that we would have been near the top three in the Western Conference last season and that we didn't really need to kind of like still kind of worry whether or not we're going to be in the playoffs or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, the bottom line was Bingham was definitely not looking good and it just felt like a changes is kind of inevitable. And this is also during the time when the Quakes is going through this massive kind of rebuilding period where we are literally getting rid of the old regime and getting rid of the the kind of dead weight that we had from the old regime. And unfortunately, Bingham is one of those guys that is part of the old regime and part of that dead weight that we just need to get rid of so that it doesn't affect us going forward on onto our rebuilding process onto this very deep rebuilding that we have so you know for me i i don't think bingham what he did is you know was the right thing to do um and i just wonder with him saying this does that mean that it kind of add a little bit of feel back into the cali classical because the Cali Classico, I'm going to admit it right now, it has sort of lost a little bit of the feel. It has lost a little bit of the mojo. And part of it kind of had to do with what happened with LAFC coming into the league. And part of it is just that it feels like an overrated kind of, um, kind of, kind of rivalry game right now with you know two teams that you know with one team really hate each other but then the other team doesn't really hate hate the other team back so you know i just think that this probably will add a little bit more fuel into the cali classical um this is sort of kind of like a i i wouldn't put this as sort of what what donovan did um back in 2004 when he literally openly says that he doesn't want to join he always want to be with the quakes and then he literally after he he came come back um on loan from germany he decided to do one thing that he definitely shouldn't have done and just completely broke his promise of how you want to be a Quakes player forever. And that, of course, is joining LA. And it's no wonder why the Quakes fan will just continue to boo him uh, to this day. Now, I'm not quite sure if they're going to do the same thing with Bingham. I certainly wouldn't boo him for this. But, you know, with all this situation and with all this kind of... Uh, talks about being I'm not happy with the club and stuff like that maybe that will be the case but either way guys let me know in the comments below what do you think of this situation uh do you think uh Bingham in terms of his ego did he go kind of over the board in terms of um kind of this saying saying that he he felt disrespected and that he didn't really act in a very professional manner to um to try to try to try to deal with this situation so yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of this and also guys i cannot believe that but we are actually now just 10 days away from opening day which means that next week i will be doing probably the the video that i've been wanting to do for a while and that is the match preview the quakes match preview between the san jose of quakes and the minnesota united and i will also be doing the 
um, the season prediction uh, in terms of predicting where uh, each team will finish in the standings and also do the match week number one uh, preview of all the other games in the league on this channel. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously very excited about this. You know, MLS is literally right around the corner. The off season is now coming to a close. And so of course is the preseason. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I of course will see you guys next time.